the slide that you're reviewing right now is uh, mainly referencing corporate capital. Corporate capital just reviews some of the three primary forms of business organization, which includes sole proprietorships, partnerships, and corporations. Okay, so one of the first decisions that you'll ever make in your business structure is how it should be structured. All businesses must adopt a certain type of structure um, and some legal configuration always comes into place. Now, I don't usually use lawyers, but there is an opportunity to use lawyers or some accountants who really understand the business processes as well as the laws that govern your state. So all business businesses are going to adopt some type of legal configuration that defines the rights and responsibilities of the participants in the business ownership control, personal liability, the lifespan, as well as the financial structure. This decision often has long-term applications and implications. So you may want to consult, again, somebody who really understands um, exactly what business structures are. So what you need to take in mind is your vision regarding the size and nature of your business. You can do that. The level of control that you wish to have the level of structure you are willing to deal with, the business's vulnerability in lawsuits, tax implications of the different organizational structures, um, your expected profit and loss that you want to generate uh, within the first year or six months as well as thereafter, and you need uh, just some access to cash for, for the business as well as yourself. So with sole proprietorships, also called proprietorships, the, mass, the vast majority of all businesses are sole proprietorships. These forms are usually owned by, well, not usually, but are owned by one person. And they often just um, complete a Schedule C on the 1040 tax return. So that individual usually handles the day-to-day -day individual responsibility for running that business. Um, sole proprietorships own all the assets of the business and all the profits generated by it. They also assume all the responsibility for any liabilities and debts. In the eyes of the laws, you and the business are one and the same. So some of the advantages of a sole proprietorship include it's just the easiest and least expensive form of ownership, especially because there's no double taxation. So proprietorships are in complete control within the parameters of the law and may make decisions as they see fit because you are the owner. Profits from the business are, are considered through the flow through entity. So again, it's not, gonna, it's not going to um, uh, go through double taxation. And the business is easy to dissolve if you really want to dissolve, if you want to end the business. So sole proprietorships have unlimited liability and are legally responsible for all the debts against the business and that's one of its disadvantages. Some of its other disadvantages is that their business and personal assets are at risk. So um, maybe at disadvantage in raising funds. Some people may be may believe that because you and the business are one in the same that there's more risk for them especially if you don't have great credit. You may have a, um, a hard time attaching high caliber employees because, you know, you're just starting out as an organization as well as you and the organization are one in the same as opposed to a corporation. Okay. Some employee benefits are not directly deductible on your tax return as well. So, so those are some of the thoughts of a proprietorship.